this week is science week here at homeschool break room i will be sharing with you different resources that we will be using for science this year now this is the first year that my kids will all be doing different sciences we, we've never done that before if you're new here welcome by the way my i'm trisha and my kids are i have a senior and then an eighth grader and a sixth grader now once my oldest got into high school she broke away and did her own science but my boys have always done it together and so this year we I decided to take it on and split them up, which is huge to me. So Ben will be doing botany-ish, botany horticulture, kind of doing a few different things, things related to plants. <laughs> and then Matthew will be doing science, or obviously science, he will be doing physics. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of those science resources this week. Now, the one I'm going to share with you today is Botany in Eight Lessons. This is from Ellen McHenry. And if you don't know her, she doesn't have a lot of curriculum, but she has some really good things. She has a couple excellent, excellent, excellent chemistry programs. She has one that's I hear more about than the others. It's called Mapping the World by Heart. It's a combination of geography, art, program from what I understand. But this one, Body and Eight Lessons, is one of the ones that Ben will be using. Now I had already planned this for him. And then I found a curriculum that a full botany curriculum that I will be sharing this week that uses this as part of it. But I wanted to make sure I highlight this specifically because I think it with eight lessons, so it now it's not just like eight days. You need longer than um, eight days to do it, but it's a short program so that if you want to just add it in, maybe in the spring, as new life awakens, this might be a great add-on. So I'm going to focus just on this one today. And if you want to see what else we're going to use for botany, tune in later in the week. Now you can buy this as um, a printed version and then you can just print off from her website any worksheets and such. I bought the ebook version and just printed it myself. It's not very big. This is the text and worksheets and it's 90 pages. And then she has supplements, supplemental activities, games, those kind of things that I'm not going to show you because I haven't decided which ones we're going to use and which ones we won't. So, um, it's, yeah, so it's not a lot of paper if you want to print, if you want to buy the ebook to print. Now, this curriculum, like the chemistry ones that we've used, is divided up into two levels. So, everybody does level one. And then, if you have older kids, they can read level two, which is additional information, a little more complex. So, I really like that if you do want to be able to use it with oh, a range of ages. There are a lot of um, hands-on activities that she includes, so you can pick and choose those. Now, at the end of each lesson, she does list a few different activities. This one, lesson four, has three. So one is a video, and she has a YouTube playlist that has all these. One is an online interactive demonstration about the topic, and then a true-false true, false quiz. And each lesson has kind of a variety like that. There is some writing like things like um, the true false quiz, but I don't feel like it's busy work. In addition to the text and those activities, plus the supplemental activities, she also includes instructions and patterns if you want to create a lab book. Now, if I suggest a lab book to Ben, I am 98% certain that he's going to look at me like I'm a fool for even suggesting it but i will offer it to him but it's a lot to print out so i didn't include it if he's not going to use it if you want to really dig into botany this is not the program for you however if you want to introduce it or if you want to dig into it but need a starting point this would be easy to build off of the eight lessons include basic topics like 
plant classification, parts of a plant, vascular plants, non-vascular plants, plant diseases, your basic topics. But she does such a great job with her writing. I absolutely love, love her writing. Really strong information, but not, but with en enough detail that you feel like you come out of there really understanding, but not with so much detail that you forget half of what was said. So I'm gonna turn the camera down and show you what it looks like inside. Table of contents. Level one, plant cells. Lots of information, good graphics. This, I would not say is, at least depending on the ages of your kids, you may need to do the reading. If I, when I did the chemistry ones, I did the reading for the kids. It, you're going to have to judge it based on what your reading and comprehension levels are. So that's how long level the first level is and then you can see the different activities and then level two of the same topic has a few more pages of reading now since ben is in eighth grade and he is a reader i will assign all of this to him but it's a lot of information to read at once so he will not do He'll break it up over a few days. And then the activities for level two. And then it's the same way. There's minimal print or minimum, minimal cover, minimal coloring. <laughs> so if you don't, if you want color but are afraid of draining your color cartridges, there's not a lot, but it's easy. Not the color in the images is not necessary. So if you want to print just in black and white, there's no problem with that. Lesson five. See, she has really detailed illustrations. I think that'll be really good for Ben. And again, with the variety of activities, make it super easy to pick and choose the one that best fits for your family. So here's a drawing activity, determining the ages of trees, a song, cross section of a leaf, and drawing a twig. So yeah, just a nice little variety. And you certainly don't have to do all of them. And then in level two of the same lesson, they have a crossword puzzle, photos, videos, tree identification, and drawing a winter tree. Finn has just developed an interest in drawing, so I think this will be fun for him to be able to have some guided drawing activities with this program. And that is Botany in Eight Lessons by Ellen McKidry. Stay tuned for the next video for more science resource ideas.